All right, we started uh, back in uh, fall 2009 with our first collection. Uh, one of our first trade shows is actually Agenda, based out of New York. And uh, my brother and I, who I own the brand, was went and set up a little booth and had a great response to our first collection. Our main goal with the line is to evolve the pieces and take a traditional nostalgic piece but evolve it in our own way. Uh, one thing that we really take a lot of pride on is our pop color linings, our attention to detail and uh, our goal is to bring a real quality product to market. I think I think our constant uh, focus on progressing. You know, we we started with we started with a, about a ten bank program, and from that point in time, we just expanded and expanded. Our first line had forty different styles, and now we're up to four hundred and seventy. And I think that constant evolution of the brand, and the, our constant, uh, uh, you know, the design guys and, and Jamie, who gave my brother, who's working on design, is really always pushing things forward. So now we have the ability as a brand to introduce all these. Different different silhouettes and all these different SKUs have such a diverse offering so really I feel our line is such a complete selection for anybody who's looking for a great quality bag and, and we have so many different silhouettes that fit so many different people so that excites me always design it you know I, I, I want to work at a design driven company and, and I inspire to have a design driven company and I hope uh, I hope the market and I hope everybody sees our, our line really appreciates so all the work that goes into it all the development and the thought process go behind each bag. It's a lot of fun too. That keeps me going. I think the, uh, you know, whenever you start a, a brand or whenever you have an idea, you know, obviously you're really excited about it and that's why you're going for it. One thing that I guess Sort of when we started to figure out, like, hey, we got something that's gonna work here. It's just really the reaction from retail. You know, our challenging thing is when selling it first, we get a great reaction from retail, and then we obviously have to wait for a bit to see how their consumer and the end consumer, in the end of the day, works with our product and see if it, and if it sees, sees that it's working with them. But the sell through initially and how our brand performed at retail is probably the most uh, exciting thing and the, the thing that really gave us the energy to push forward and. and Span the line and, and, uh, and grow it. It was just how well the banks were doing at retail. And at the end of the day, in our design process, that's what we do. You know, we don't think about what store we're going to try to sell this to. We think about who, who the person who's actually going to be carrying the bag. And so I think if you start there, we're going to end up with the right store selling them. And, and at that point in time, it, the people who we designing the bags for bought them. And uh, you know, and that's that's really where it worked. Of course, uh, the sales grew. So. so so did the line, so we just have just, you know, I, I don't know if organically is the right word because we've sort of uh, grown extremely quickly, but uh, organically grew quickly. I think the main thing as you see our brand progress in the next few years is going to be the, the uh, expansion of categories. So we have the backpack game really nailed and, and we're going to continue to develop backpacks and develop new styles but that category is actually a really good a really good uh, foundation for our business. Uh, we have, uh, you know, we've expanded into luggage, we've expanded into wallets and we've also expanded into consumer electronics uh, pieces so uh, items to your iPad or your MacBook Airs. So that those categories is a really good expand so we're we're uh, we're gonna be a brand that allows retailers in the accessory department to really build off of. so in the next couple of years you're gonna see the continued development of all categories but specifically getting into different categories that are really suitable for us you know and we're not gonna go and manufacturing something that's not fitting really to what we do but manufacture stuff that are fitting towards the brand and what we're bringing to the market and bring that same personal style to other items We came in at a time that there was a lot of bag companies, and there is a lot of bag companies out there. We we felt there was a, a hole in the market for a brand just like ours, offering our styling, offering our price points, offering, uh, again, a so more sophisticated bag, but it's still at a, a price point that can be digestible, you know? We have a large range of price points now, which has happened with the, as we've grown. 
But our point of difference was taking nostalgic bags, some had heritage styling, some were a little bit more progressive, but build them well, build them with good style, build them with fine regard to detail. And, and the, the end consumers know this. And, uh, you know, I, I think as a brand, we've never been that pushy on the marketing front. We, we take the same pride in building bags as we do shooting photos of what we're doing. And I think at the end of the day, what we've done, although I, I can't tell, you know, I'd be lying if I said we had this 10-step plan that we've executed, it just really worked. And, you know, we're still shooting great photos. In my opinion. Uh, we're still uh, we're still not being overly pushy in regards to where we're going. We bring a bring, we bring a really good product to market, and uh, I, you know, it's a good product that goes a long way. It's good branding goes a long way. And again, I think that all of our uh, staff, from, from people who are answering the phones, to people who are entering orders, to people who are setting up trade shows, we're all like we're all very involved with the company, and you know, we're all our uh, we all audit ourselves. You know, we all make sure what we're bringing out and what we what we all want to talk about, whether they're picking up a phone to answer a call or we're typing in an order. So I think having that group, uh, group of dedicated people, all dedicated towards having great design and great branding and a great product, and I think at the end of the day, you're just going to come up with something that's really good. Yeah. <laughs> it's going down.